Hello guys, welcome back. So today is the day that we're going to be taking on our first alpha, potentially. Um, so all the wrecks are fully healed up. I've been out and about just um, doing errands, hatching eggs. We've got um, a 248 RG, 277 Turidon with like four mutation stacks now. So they're coming along nicely. For some reason, I cannot get a third mutation in the wrecks. It just isn't happening. Or if it does, it's giving me a male, which I don't want. I want basically females to breed with the perfect zero male. The clean male, as some might call it. Uh, but, yep, we're going to take the rest of these Rexes down to the green obelisk. I'm hoping that there's no issues when we get there. There we go. Alright, Battle Rex 1's at the head of the table. We've got everyone here. Good, 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 good. Let's just crawl under them because they're all getting in my way. Right, so I'm gonna put that in there, 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 that in there. So here she is. Oh, you know, I forgot. I forgot to craft soups, but we should be all right. Here we go. Right, where is my Rexy boy? There. This is the one that we want to be on. <laughs> and we want to whistle, attack my target. Watch something just attack now. No, in fact, yeah, you know what? That's why we're going to put it on passive. Because if something attacks now, it would seriously screw us over. Just, oh, I was going to screenshot that, but I can't. Where's Rex there? Uh, Where's she gone? Oh crap, she's there. Oh yep, and she hurts a lot. Oh, we're all stuck on each other. That's not good. Oh, but she, they're doing good damage, doing good damage. That's good. Am I still in care mode? Yep. Yeah, Rexes are taking serious damage. How much health does she have? Oh my god, she has just, oh, just under a million. We're going to lose Rexes this time. It's going to happen. Sixteen. Rex sixteen's gone. Oh wow, oh there goes Rex 8, 7, this is not good, we've lost 2 Rexes and she's not even at half health, uh, 15 and 12, that's 2 of them gone, oh that's another 3 gone, oh this is not good at all. My Rex is hurting a lot. Oh my god, not even got her halfway. We're going to fail this, guys. But I think that says a lot about what we're going to have to do. I think we're going to have to tame up some Megarithium. Because they have a buff against this Rex. I mean, that's the first high health Rex gone down. I mean, what have I got on me here that we're going to lose? Oh, no, we're going to lose my cap. <laughs> Quick bail. At least we didn't lose all our stuff, but wow, did she hurt. Alright, 
We're gonna have to leave him to heal up, but we've lost all our X's. Oh god. Right. Right. At least we didn't lose. <laughs> you know what? We have lost all, all the materials, so we are gonna have to go and get some more of them. But it gives us something to do. It's not an issue. But now on the agenda is to tame up some megarithium, ideally some 150s. Oh, it would be, wouldn't it? We've got one level 40, so let's go and grab that while we can. But you know what? Before we even bother. We're going to need this. We're going to need them. We're going to need kibble. Oh, we're getting a bit of lag. Like I said, I were half expecting to fail, but I'm not too fussed because I weren't too clinged to them dinos. If I'm honest. They were going to get terminated eventually either way. Terminated sounds dress drastic, I know, but we have much more powerful wrecks on the way. Right, let's. I'm going to go and grab this Mega Rhythm. And then we'll start taming it up. Alright guys, so it's actually a day later, uh, in real life that is, uh, from the Broodmother Alpha failure. The file corrupted, but I think I've managed to rescue it. But if not, then I've basically cut straight to this. Uh, we're going out and taming a male Megarithium now. For some reason, the highest level on the island at the moment is only a level 100, which is I find quite surprising. But, you know, we're going to have to deal with it for now. Um, so yeah, the Alpha Broodmother was just a complete and utter failure, like literally we lost every single Rex apart from the one I was riding on, um, which I brought back, because at the end of the day he's still a pretty powerful Rex and we could use him, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame, but you know, we've got more powerful Rexes on the go, so it's not something I'm too worried about, uh, but yeah, no, today we're going to be looking at breeding up some Megarithium. I've just realised I've completely screwed this up because I didn't want to drop him there. I wanted to drop him in the taming pen. Let me just go and pick him back up. Come here, boy. Right, no, I'm going to do this now. I don't want to drop him. I'm going to drop him. There we are. Drop him there. Yes, there we go. So yeah, there's a female that we tamed, which was a level 140, I think, or 145. Um, and then there's this guy here, which is only a level 100. But, like I said, it's the highest we could find, so it will have to do for now. I mean, it is purely just to defeat the Broodmother Alpha. I can get a headshot on him, it'll count for more, but I don't think I will be able to. But I do actually have a few of the things planned as well for while we're waiting for the Megarithium army. So one of them's for me to take you fishing. Because you'll be amazed at some of the loot you can get from fishing. Um, but in order to do that we're going to have to go and do the Swamp Cave Dive. Which is one of the hardest one of the harder caves to do. Because of the simple fact that... Uh, I need to put food in him. Um, one, the air's toxic inside there, so we need a gas mask. Um, two, it's full of Arthropleura, which will destroy our armour. Um, and yeah, overall it's just a much harder cave than any of them that we've done so far. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is rather than taking the Sabre, I think we're going to take General. One, it can carry more weight. Two is more powerful and three I'm pretty sure that it can get through the entire cave 
But what I'm going to do is we're going to take some carrier pods just in case. I mean, what we're we doing now? Oh, super kibble. And yeah, we'll basically go from there. But yeah, I reckon. I reckon the next episode will be a good one. I mean, if we can get a decent fishing rod, which is what we're going to be trying for, we will be laughing. I mean, General's just an awesome RG anyway. I mean, the imprint bonus is just ridiculous from it. I'm going to level up the Deodons as well a fair bit over the next few episodes, just so that they have a crap ton of food because they run out of food really quick when trying to heal up. So, I mean, look, look if you have a look at her, she's got 60k food. If I went and put her now to go and heal, she'd basically just run out of that near enough instantly. It's mental. Um, why does this not have any food in it? There we go, that's better. Got to keep an eye on these food troughs because for some reason it's not balancing them right. I don't know why. I think I know why, you know, I've just realised. God damn it. I have automated arc installed, and basically, if you don't forget to keep an eye on your settings, let me just drink some water. So, yeah, if you don't keep an eye on this here, so if I go into exclude structures and trough. So as you can see, some of them aren't being taken into account to exclude. So what that will do is if I even if I put food in it, it will just automatically pull the food straight back out of it, which I know is annoying, but there's not much you can do. Oh perfect, we've got some jerky there. So I'm gonna take that out. Have I got any more oil? I mean not that we need to Really, I can't pull any oil. I'll right, tell you where I can pull oil from. Right, yeah, we've got a thousand there, so I'm gonna pull a thousand. I'm gonna put it in there. What am I doing? I don't even need it. I forgot this. This dehydrator turns it into um, meat jerky even without it. The reason I'm making it is simply because now we're imprinting dinos. They actually need meat jerky and stuff. Uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, as you can see, look, we've got tons of materials. I've, I've been passively farming stuff just to make sure that we've got it. I uh, could probably do with making some more gunpowder because I'm going to start making shotguns and stuff because next few lots of bosses it will come in like really helpful. Uh, I've got a ton of hide cementing burst we're absolutely laughing like i love this is why i love automated arc because tame two achatina tame a dung beetle tame a doodicorous anything that just naturally farms stuff passively and it'll just pull it straight out of their inventory um can we create two saddles for a mega uh there it is can all be done at a smithy, that's fair enough. Mega. Megalodon. No, I need to create two. And I love that as well, how you can just pull stuff. It just, it makes life so much easier. I've had this installed from pretty much like third episode, I think it is. Because um, when you're creating videos, you obviously don't want to be running around farming materials, having to transfer them from all your dinos. And then when you do kill something, like the Broodmother, you have to transfer everything from all your dinos then. It just becomes a chore that you don't really want to have to deal with. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy over here. You see, now a lot of people do question, like the Megarithium, they do seem like much weaker and stuff than the Rexes. And in all fairness, they probably are. But this guy is actually. I think he's going to have decent health, in all fairness. And yeah, what? 15 points in health, 20 in stamina, 24 in food. What about you? 24 in health. I ain't given him a name yet. I'm not too worried about giving him a name just yet. Go 
4k health. I don't know. No, no, he's pretty, he's pretty weak, but um, like I said, we're not fussed about that. We're more fussed about getting some imprinted babies out of them. What am I stuck on? Give me the Megarithium back. Thank you. As you can see up there as well, the um, RG breeding is coming along. Uh, we went from a 242 to a 244 with a health mutation to a 246 with a health and stamina mutation. And if I go over here, we have a 248 with a health, stamina, and speed mutation. Now, we know speed's not essential, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's a mutation. Um, I had that one there just because I did like the purple on it. Um, probably won't end up doing anything with it. And uh, with the pterodons, where is... Oh, there we are. We have a 275, but we bred a 277 over there, which I can't remember what it had. I think it has three in the melee. But anyway, let's get on with the Megarithium. Um... Oh yeah, I'm going to put them here. I don't know if these guys lay eggs or if they're mammals. Uh, behavior, passive. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Enable mating. Oh, uh, behavior, enable mating. See, that's bad, that, in my opinion. That guy's got 4292 health. This one's got 492 health as well. This guy were a level 100. That guy were a level 140. I mean, this guy's got a ton more in his, his melee. So they've both got the same health, so they're going to have health no matter what. Um, we definitely want the mother's melee. But we want the father's stamina. I mean, that's, that's maddening, that. The father has more stamina and the same health, and it was 40 levels lower. That just makes no sense whatsoever. So yeah, there's the mutated RG, and there's the new mutated Pterodon. So we will be getting them back to breeding at some point. There are the stats on the RG for now. Obviously they'll be a lot better when we imprint them, but we don't imprint them just yet. But that guy's looking ridiculous. 410 base melee. 2100 health. It's uh, pretty ridiculous. Not happy with the colour mutations on it just yet, but we're going to be continuing to breed them so they'll change anyway. Um, the Rex, we've got two, is it two or three mutations? Three mutations so far. Um, struggling to get the fourth uh, 243, 243 uh, female. Um, but I'm pretty sure we'll get it at some point. How are you doing food? Not really used you for a while. Wow. Got plenty of levels in him. I'm not looking at that though just yet. Right, let's have a look. Are you an egg layer or are you oop leg? Are you an egg layer or Yeah, it's gestation. So yeah, the Megarithium army unfortunately will take longer and we will end up with some weaker babies, but we're not too fussed. So I'm gonna get ten of them going and raise them. Uh, but we'll uh, get the first one going, and I'll be back shortly. Alright, it's not even been two to three minutes of the first one that, uh, bred, and we've got a mutation already, and it's a red mutation in health. Now, the, and the, thing, the thing is, like, this guy's a lower level than the other baby at 186. He's only a 166, and that's because he's got the lowest stats in, like, oxygen and food and weight. But I couldn't care less because it's got the melee, the health, and then a mutation in the health as well. So this guy's actually better than the parents. Um, as you can see as well, I've got um, an S plus nanny set up because this will help with the imprinting status. If I'd have known this out sooner, I would have saved myself a lot of time. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the S plus nanny actually slowly imprints away at both the dinos and any babies within its range which is amazing because well 
it just it's just going to be easier for creating this mega Rithium army. Um, so we're about to get another another baby. Let's have a look at what pops out. And we got a 180. That looks like it's father. So behavior, disable wondering, behavior, passive, behavior, lowest, and uh, we'll just play it over here somewhere. So yeah, I'm gonna probably get about 15 to 20 of these, like bred up. Um, again, the S plus nanny should do the job. I mean, you got the weaker melee again, uh, but like I said, I'm not bothered because we're gonna be imprinting them anyway. Yeah, S plus nanny's doing a job. That's good. He's feeding from the nanny. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna get these Megarithium like all tamed up. I can't really raise any more or hatch any more eggs just yet because of the S plus nanny. Um, how are we doing on the eggs actually? Oh, I've got plenty of room in the hatches. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, think guys for the next episode where we're waiting for all these Megarithium to raise and breed and stuff like that. I've got a few things planned. Um, so like I said, one of them is Swamp Cave. Um, another one is to go and show you how fishing works. Now, the fishing is pretty damn good, but only if you can get a quality rod. Um, and that is where the Swamp Cave comes into it, because it's got red drops, yellow drops, and blue drops. And the yellow and red drops can drop a really good quality fishing rod, and if we can get one of them, we are laughing for being able to get decent armour and weapon blueprints. So... That is going to be on the agenda for the next few episodes. Uh, but the next episode, we're going to be preparing to actually enter the Swamp Cave. We may even, at some point, go Alpha Mosasaur hunting. Because I've got uh, I've had something going on in the background that I've not been telling you about. And that is, do you remember the Basilosaurus that we tamed a few episodes back? Well, I've had two more tamed. And I've been breeding them and imprinting their baby. Now, the reason I've not recorded that is because the amount of time they take is just ridiculous. Like, you're talking, must be six, a six hour time or something stupid like that. And as much as I could crop it down over one video, you'd just be seeing snippets and it wouldn't be very good. But I can definitely show you the outcome and yeah, it's pretty amazing. So, that's what's going to be on the agenda for that. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm going to leave that there for now, guys. I'm going to get a few more of these bred up and then stop them breeding while these raise. And, yeah, I'll see you for the Swamp Cave in the next episode. So, enjoy, and I will see you around.